by 1150 AD, the once thriving Cahokia was a besieged fortress and was potentially dealing with a violent internal conflict. From this point on, people began abandoning the city altogether. But what was driving this exodus? And could this explain why the great city finally collapsed? Archaeologist Tim Pocketat believes that the trigger for Cahokia's violent downfall was the very thing that fueled its meteoric rise. Climate. He once again turns to the tree ring records. And what he finds buried in the data is a massive surprise. What we didn't expect when we looked at the tree ring evidence is that after 1100, and really especially around 1150, you see uh, the tree rings get much narrower, meaning that there is more dry weather, uh, probably several significant droughts. And that seems to correlate with the beginning of the end of Cahokia. If his analysis is correct, then the huge defensive wall and the brutal killing of Cahokia's residents could be a direct response to these terrible droughts. To feed its population of 20,000 people, the city needed to grow over 3,000 tons of corn a year. But years without rain would have decimated harvests, leaving the community unable to feed itself. Tim believes the drought forced people to abandon the Mississippi Valley and push the city into a downward spiral that led to its demise. That early drought probably destabilized the relationships and led to people leaving. But then it becomes the problem is people leaving. They don't have enough farmers all of a sudden to sustain this dynamo that was Cahokia. It wouldn't be the first time drought has led to the collapse of advanced civilizations. Both the Mayans and the Aztecs of Mexico suffered severe droughts that ultimately led to their demise. 